In this video, we'll provide a brief overview of the recommender system for the Regeneron Science Talent Search and guide you through each step of the recommendation process. If at the end of this training you still have questions, please check our recommender tips page linked in the description below or reach out to us at sts at societyforscience.org. Section 1, Accepting Recommendations and Creating Your Account. When a recommendation is requested by a student, as seen here, the system sends an email invitation to the recommender using the contact information that the student has entered. To accept the recommendation, click into this email, read the instructions, and select the green button at the bottom of the message. To decline a recommendation, click the smaller gray text. Note that our emails are sometimes caught in strict school filters. You may want to speak with your school's IT department about whitelisting our IP and email addresses, or ask your students to request recommendations at a non-school associated address. You can check out the recommender tips page for more information on troubleshooting this problem. Emails are also often lost in junk or spam folders, so make sure to check here first. But if you don't receive this request, please let us know. Clicking the green button in your invitation email will take you to the application system, either to finish creating your account if this is the first time your email address has been entered into the system, or directly to the new recommendation request if you have already created your account through previous requests from other students. Note that if you are taken to a login page from this green button, you have likely already created an account and will need to enter the details associated with that account in order to access the system. Creating your account involves answering a series of questions, as seen here. While these initial registration questions are not the actual recommendation form, which you will access in just a moment, it is important to fill these out accurately, as they will automatically populate into each recommendation, saving you time later on if you are providing recommendations for multiple students. Note that some questions are exclusive to school counselors. On this page, you will also be asked to set up a password, at which point you can select Create Account, and your account setup will be complete. From there, you will be taken to the recommendation request. Once your account is created, you are able to return to the system at any time by logging in via the homepage at sciencetalentsearch.smapply.org. Click Log In in the upper right-hand corner and enter your login details to gain access to your account. If at any point you forget your login details, you can use this Forgot Your Password feature to regain access to your account. We do not recommend clicking this green button to access recommendations after your initial account registration. Instead, please log in through the homepage. After entering your login details, you will be taken to the internal homepage, where you will find all recommendation requests listed in a table. Other things to note on this page include your toolbar at the very top. The Recommendations button will send you back to this page at any time. The I will allow you to access various help options. Your name in the upper right-hand corner is what you will click in order to sign out or to access your account settings. If, for instance, there is a typo in your name that you would like to fix, or you wish to change your time zone, this is where you would do so. This is also where you can edit your answers to the recommender information. These were the questions asked during the creation of your account. Because these automatically populate into each student's recommendation, saving you from having to retype these answers if you have multiple students, any edits you make to these questions directly in the recommendation form will not save. So if you need to update your answers at any point, please do so here, then click Save at the bottom of this page. Section two, accessing student recommendation forms. Recommendations are listed in the main table by requester, where you will see the names and emails of the students who have requested recommendations from you using the email address associated with your account, along with the program name and deadline. Note that the deadline for all recommendations is November 9, 2022 at 8 p.m. Eastern time, no exceptions. Because our vendor's time zone might be different than yours, and so might display here differently, it is important for you to keep this date in mind to ensure your recommendations are submitted on time. 
We recommend marking it on your personal calendar just to be safe and recommend submitting your recommendations as early as possible to avoid any technical issues ahead of the deadline. You can use this grade dropdown to toggle between what recommendations you see. You can choose to list only recommendations you still need to finish, completed recommendations, requests you have denied, or all types at once. To get started on a recommendation, you will click the green Start button beside that recommendation. This will take you to the recommendation instructions. These instructions will change based on the type of recommendation you are completing, so we ask that you read them through entirely, as well as the helpful linked resources on avoiding gender and racial bias in recommendations and making recommendations stand out. After you have read these items, you have the option to accept or decline the request. The student applicant will receive an email notifying them of your choice, but does not at any point have access to the recommendation itself. Recommendations are confidential. If you are declining a recommendation, you will be asked to provide a reason, which will be shared with the student applicant. Note that declining a recommendation cannot be undone, and if you wish to accept a recommendation that you have previously declined, the student will need to go through the process of requesting the recommendation from you a second time. Once you have accepted the recommendation, you will be taken to the full recommendation form. There you will see the instructions once again for your reference, the status of your acceptance, and the option to change this decision should you instead wish to decline the recommendation, and the type of recommendation that you are completing. Below, you will see the recommender information questions. Remember, these answers are populated automatically from the information given upon login, and if you make changes directly in this recommendation form, they will not save. Go to the dropdown beneath your name and select My Account in order to make changes to these questions. The main recommendation questions begin immediately following this recommender information, and these you should type directly into the form. These questions vary based on the type of recommendation that you are completing. There are three types of recommendations, the educator recommendation, the project recommendation, and the high school report. It is possible in some cases that you, the recommender, might be asked to complete more than one recommendation type by the same student, which is acceptable and permitted by STS rules. The educator recommendation is to be completed by a high school teacher who has worked with the student in a classroom setting or a similar supportive adult from a work or extracurricular environment. It asks you to provide background on your relationship with the student and observations of their work and character in the context of your high school, your classroom, and other students with whom you have worked. Students must request one educator recommendation, but may request up to two. The project recommendation, to be completed by a mentor who is most familiar with the student's research, is designed to both assess the student's adherence to the Regeneron Science Talent Search rules and to provide context on a student's level of involvement and independence with various aspects of their research project. Mentors are also asked to attest that the student has permission to share their research with Regeneron STS. The high school report to be completed by a high school counselor or other administrator with access to the student's transcript is not a traditional recommendation. The primary responsibilities of the person completing the high school report are the submission of the student's transcript and a comprehensive school profile. They are also asked to affirm the student's anticipated graduation date. Please note that first semester grades from a student's senior year are not needed and that the society does not accept mailed hard copy transcripts. If you are a counselor who is experiencing difficulty uploading a student's transcript or has concerns about our online system, please email our team as soon as possible. Tips specific to each recommendation type are included at the end of this video. Section three, saving and submitting your recommendations. For all recommendations, you can save your progress and return to the recommendation at a later time by clicking the gray Save and Continue Editing button. Errors in red text might display, saying you have left questions incomplete. 
but rest assured that your work thus far will be saved in this form for you to return to later. Once you are completely done editing and ready to mark the application as complete, you may hit submit and must do so in order for the recommendation to be successfully attached to the student's account. Note that after you hit this green button, you will no longer be able to make changes to the recommendation. You will be asked to testify that you have read these instructions before you are able to submit. Upon submission, you will be taken to this page that indicates the recommendation has been received. Here, you can download the recommendation, return to your homepage, or log out. Please note that this is the only time you are able to download the recommendation, so if you would like to keep a copy of this for your records, please do so here. Also upon submission, both you and the student will receive email confirmation that the recommendation has been completed. On your internal homepage, you will also see that the circle beside the recommendation has changed to a green check mark. Incomplete applications that have been started but not submitted will display with a circle half filled with green, while recommendations not begun will display as an empty circle. Declined recommendations will display with a red no symbol, as seen here. Completed or declined recommendations will also display with the date the recommendation was either submitted or declined. After completing a recommendation, you will not be able to edit the recommendation, but can look at your responses by selecting the gray View button in this column. To return to where you left off in an unsubmitted recommendation already in progress, simply select the green Continue button Once you believe all your recommendations have been completed, we recommend verifying this is the case by selecting Incomplete from the dropdown to make sure you haven't missed any stragglers. This option will display any applications not yet submitted. If you believe a recommendation is missing that should be present in your list, first verify with the student that they have sent the request to you and under what email. Sometimes a typo can prevent the email from reaching you and is an easy fix. Somewhat more difficult is if students have requested recommendations from you under multiple email addresses. This unfortunately means that their requests will display under different accounts, as accounts are created under whatever email the student has entered on your behalf, and we cannot combine these accounts for you. You will need to log into the account under the other email using the same instructions from earlier in this video, taking care to make sure you are completely logged out of your primary account first. or Ask the student to delete the request and submit it again under the email associated with the account you would prefer them to use. Section four, tips for drafting a strong recommendation. Your contribution to the requester's application package is very important in the Regeneron STS evaluation process and provides important context to the student's research journey and future potential as a leader in science. As you tell us about your student requester, consider the following general recommendation tips that will help them shine even brighter. Recommendations are all about providing context. We do not know about struggles or obstacles overcome unless the student or recommender mentions them in the application. Please share anything that you believe we should know about the student, especially anything that has impacted the student's life or research experience or demonstrates drive. Let us know about how access or lack thereof to specific equipment or materials impact of the student's research journey, and share examples and stories that highlight the student's leadership in any area of life and contributions to their research. Please consider that the Regeneron Science Talent Search application process evaluates different criteria than other competitions or programs. This means that other pre-written letters often do not fully answer the specific questions asked in our forms. We do not accept letters of recommendation within our system or by email for this reason. Shorter responses to our specific questions are stronger than attempts to paste longer previously written text for broad recommendation letters. For project recommenders, the following information might be useful. From you, we are hoping to learn more about the student's research environment, contribution to the work, and their potential as a scientist, as well as adherence to the rules. For our rules-related questions, it is thus very important that you are as honest as possible and provide paperwork if needed. 
Students who worked with humans, vertebrate animals, tissue and cell lines, and or PHBAs are subject to special rules, and you will be asked to verify the student's adherence to these over the course of their research. It is also important that you disclose any familial or personal relationships in this form. Such relationships are allowed and permitted by STS rules, but unreported conflicts of interest could lead to a student's disqualification. Team research conducted with another high school student or split between students is not permitted for entry to Regeneron STS. If your requester worked in an environment with other high school students, it is important for you to help distinguish how their work was different and why it remains eligible. If you have been asked to write a recommendation for a student who was unmentored, please try your best to share what you know about the student's independence, project ideation, rules adherence, and more. In general, for all project recommenders, the more detail you can provide about the student's involvement in the research, the better. We know all labs and research situations have different setups and some students have more freedom to design their research questions than others. This is not held against a student, but is important to know in our review. Remember, context is key. For those completing the educator recommendation, the following information might be useful. Your perspective is crucial to helping us assess the student's growth as a scientist and their leadership abilities in the school environment. As with the project recommendation, please take care to disclose any familial or personal relationships. Such relationships are permitted by STS rules, but unreported conflicts of interest could lead to a student's disqualification. In this form, you are asked to rank this student among past and current students. We understand that many research programs at the high school level are part of honors groups, and this might impact your ranking. This is why it is important to tell us about your program, entry requirements, and anything else special we should know about your program or school. The more context you can provide, the better we understand your students' achievements. High school report recommenders help us verify information about the student and their school environment. Please share any extenuating circumstances that might be helpful for our team to know. There are opportunities to explain the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on your school, relevant information about the student's graduation date, and space to add anything else you think might provide a more complete picture of the student and their school. This concludes your tour of the recommender platform. If you have additional questions or experience any issues with the system, we have a helpful page of recommender tips linked in the description with answers to many common questions and issues. Please also feel free to reach out to us at sts at societyforscience.org and we'll happily provide troubleshooting assistance. Thank you again for your support of students in their science research and for all your work in serving as a recommender for the next generation of leaders in science.